Hey guys, so because people have been asking for it, I'm going to show you now how to read from the real-time database. What I'm going to do is create a chatbot that will ask the user for their age, and then we're going to calculate an average age over, over all of the users. And uh, so first I'm just going to show you how to read from the database, and then we're going to use a transaction to read and write to the database in the same operation. <clears throat> okay, so what I've done here is I've created a new chatbot, save average age. I just wanted to point out that I'm using the API version 2 in this case. Uh, so in, in some of my previous examples I've been using the version 1. So I'm using the new version now. And let's go straight into the intents. Um, so, as usual, we're going to start with the welcome intent. This is actually the default welcome intent. I've just renamed it. And I've given it an output context of ask for age. So, just so that we can trigger the interaction, you've seen this before. So, now I'm going to create a new intent ask age that will have the ask for age context as an input. No need that output. Uh, so what do we need here? We are going to ask the user for their age, so we'll just need some training phrases. Um, uh -huh. That's pre-filled, that's great. Uh, another answer could be I'm 90 years old. Let's put that in there as well. Uh, okay, I should, I should have created the parameters first. So I'm going to delete that. Okay, so let's create a new parameter H that will be using the system um, number integer entity. And values can be age. Um, ba, 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 ba. So now I'm going to assign that here in the training phrases. Cool. We don't really need this. I'm going to fill it out anyway. Action. So we're not going to put a response here because we're going to use the ful a fulfillment, a webhook, net a webhook call, yes. Cool, that should be it. Let's save this. <clears throat> uh, one thing that I forgot previously to point out is that the welcome intent has a response which is the prompt, can you tell me your age? Cool. So next let's go into the fulfillment to implement the bulk of the code. I've already activated the inline editor here and pre-filled it with some code so that I don't have to write everything. Um, so let's first start. So as in my last example where I was just writing to the database, um, initializing the database connection here. Uh, what happened this time is I got an error when I just called initialize app with the with no arguments. So I think something has changed. So it doesn't work with just defaults anymore. So we have to be more explicit. Um, so for credentials, I'm still using a uh, application default method here. And then for the database URL, I'm going to show you how to get that. So what you need to do is uh, go to console.firebase.google.com and create a database. I have previously created it, I've just deactivated it, so now I'm going to enable it again. Now it's enabled, and you can see that the URL is shown here. So what we would do is just copy that, and then the only difference would be that 
We're going to replace the HTTP with a WS for WebSocket, which is the protocol that's being used here. Cool, so that should work. This is pretty much the boilerplate code when you create the project. Then I've created a function handle age, and here at the bottom I'm um, mapping the this function to uh, to that function. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, mapping the ask age intent to that function. Uh, then, so remember we have credit the parameter age, so I'm reading that from the agent.parameters here. And I'm putting, well, first of all, if the user has input their age, I'm going to say thank you. And then, the first thing we're going to do is just read something from the database, not write anything. So we're going to uh, read the average. So remember I said in the beginning we wanted to save a running average of all the ages. So we don't want to save uh, individual ages, just an average. So what I'm doing here is I'm reading the ref age in full and then once the value is there, we have the snapshot here in the in the callback function, and then we're reading the running average. I will put a link in the description with all the code so that you can look at it uh, in uh, yeah in more detail and just copy it. So you don't need to pause the video right now. Um, Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to create this ref and also this value. So let's do that. What's happening now? I'm just going to reload. Okay, there we go. Uh, so the ref we wanted to call age info, and then we're creating a child child's average running average, which is going to be zero in the beginning. And then I'm just going to do one more thing, which we're going to use in the next part, which is. We're also going to need a oops, cellular. Please go back. We're also going to need a total count, which is going to have the number of submitted ages. We'll need a we'll need to keep a count of that um, in order to keep continue to um, calculate the average. Cool. So we got that. So now let's deploy this. Um, yeah, here I'm just giving an output our recorded average age. This average age, which we're reading from the snapshot. So it's deploying, deploying, deploying. Hi, can you tell me your age? Uh, let's say I'm 80 years old. Doesn't really matter. Thank you. Okay, something's wrong. Let's look at the log. Uh, no errors here. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, yeah. I just needed a second. Thank you, our recorded average age is zero, which is the average age that I input here. Cool, so that is reading from the database. And now let's go one step further and actually, well, this will be boring to just not change the average age, so we're going to get one step further and read and write 
So modify the average age and then uh, output the average age. Um, so I wish this browser editor had, would support the shortcut for commenting and commenting. If anyone has a tip on how to do that, uh, please let me know. Uh, for now, I'm just going to have to do this line by line. Uh, Okay, so we're doing a similar thing here. We're reading the rate H, uh, the ref H info, but now we're using a transaction, which is um, yeah, it just makes sure that the database stays in a consistent state, um, and all the all the um, all the operations get executed before another chatbot client could potentially write to the database. I'm also going to put the URLs to the relevant parts of the documentation in the description so you can read more about transaction and also snapshots when you click on those links. Um, I had a console log here which I'm just going to get rid of. So the transaction, once the data is available, it will give us the H info. It's similar as the snapshot here. We're just making sure here that it, it exists, which it does because I credit it. But in case it got deleted, we don't want the whole thing to crash. So that's here as a security. Then I'm saving some data in variables. So the old average, I'm reading that from, from the object, uh, the running average and the old total count, which is the total count that I input into the database here. It's all zero at the moment. Oops. And, uh, ah, sorry about that. It's great when things are just popping up um, without asking for it. And then we're using those old values to calculate the new average. Uh, that's a bit of an interesting part. Uh, not really part of this tutorial, but it's interesting anyway. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the old average, multiplying it by the old total count. Um, because it was an average first, and we're basically weighting the new age that has been rate, um, set with the old average. And we need to multiply it by the total count to get the weight right. And then we're dividing it by the old total count plus one, which is basically the new total count, to get the new average. And we're saving that here, and then increasing the total count in the database in the transaction. And in the end, we return age info. Uh, so we just return the whole object, and then the database will update with whatever values I changed here. And in between, we are outputting the average. Our recorded average age is new average. Cool. So I'm going to click deploy. Everything should be fine here. So now we're still saying thank you, but then replying with the new average. Let's try that. It's still deploying, deploying. Okay, now it's done. Hi, right, can you tell me your age? Yeah, cool. So let's say I'm 90. Thank you. All right, our recorded average age is zero. I had this last time. It usually takes a while. We can check here if there's an error. There's no error, so I'm just going to try it again. Nope, still no. Okay, I'm gonna reload. I'm not sure what's wrong. As we can see here, there's still no errors, so I'm assuming it's just a slight delay.
Uh -huh. There we go, okay. So now I told it that my age was 90, and then it said our recorded average age is 90. If we go to the database, we can see that the average was set to 90, and the total count is 1, because we had one age submitted. Now I'm going to do this a couple more times, and I'm going to say, okay, my age is actually 30. So now the average age has dropped to 60, and let's do one more. Again, my age is 30, and now the average age has dropped again. So we can see here that the counter goes up, and the average is kept up to date as well. Cool. That is it. Um, like I said, I'm going to put a link to the code in the description and also link the parts of the real-time database documentation so you can find find it easily. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Cool, thanks for watching.